I appreciate your time. Do we have uh, a couple questions for you? One, how do you like joining with Overtime Boxing, you and Barack tag team in that new atmosphere of what they're bringing to boxing? Oh man, they're the future, man. I love Overtime. Everybody over there, our guys, Britt and Brandon, like they, they had a, a vision and they brought it to life. So it's fun calling those fights for sure. You're out here in Philadelphia, the very second show held at the Wells Fargo Center. They're really creating the atmosphere to make this Jerron Boots Ennis, you know, his home and the best next big fight out of Philly. What's your fight prediction tonight on part two of Kuchadon Ennis? Yeah, I mean, look, yeah, as far as Boots, I, I was here the last time out. He brought the city out. Now he brought a pound for pound top dog and Jesse Bam Rodriguez to join him. So I'm, pr I'm pretty sure the turnout is going to be amazing. I, you know, I'm predicting what everybody else is, man. Those guys are too talented, too, too much talent and too much ahead of them. To, to have a bump in a row. So they both win by knockout. And last question so I can let you go. Do you feel like Ennis and Crawford is going to be a fight that fans are going to say the fight that never happened, but we wish it happened? Do you think like it's coming closer to that? No, I or mean, th there'll be people out there that, that, that might say that, but I don't think it's going to be a stigma like uh, Riddick Bowe and Lennox Lewis. It's not going to be that big of a, you know, it never happened because you Crawford, think yourself, Crawford is still already... Hope? No, no, I, I don't even care to see that fight, you know. Bud has accomplished enough in the sport. He's at 154. By the time Boots gets there, Bud will probably be retired. So, Thank you for your time, buddy.